Canada and people might have started filing their taxes already. I haven't filed yet, but of course I have planned to do that every year. We do uh, nothing so special about it, but there is something special today. Like after the pandemic had started, a lot of people work from home. While many have returned to office, some partially, some fully, but still a lot of people work from home, especially in the past year of 2023, many did. In fact, most of the time I also did. Now, uh, when you work from home, it's very important to claim your home expenses or you can say home office expenses properly, right? So before that, it was easy because uh, in 2021, they had launched a T2200S form where you don't have to go to the detailed calculation method about the expenses that have uh, incurred to you rather than you can just claim like two dollars a day for uh, i think up to 200 days a year i'm not sure exactly that number it was a very simple method but this year there has been a major change that two dollar a day is no longer applicable and if you want to claim for your home office expenses which i am sure many will do because many have actually worked uh, so this year instead of going for t2200s it's going to be T2200 where you have to provide this information in detail. OK. Of course, there are some conditions. Now. You uh, have like. Um, in order to qualify for home expenses, your home office must be used to work more than 50% of the time for the period of at least four consecutive weeks or Workspace can only be used to earn uh, employment income and it must be used regularly and continually for in person meeting with client customers or other people while doing work. The first condition is going to be satisfied by many, but it's our combination, so nothing to worry about. OK, and if you have worked only for part of the year, you can claim expenses only for that part. That's normal, like so whatever you have done, you claim for it. That's all right. All right, now what are the eligible expenses that you can claim? It's going to be electricity, heat, water, utilities, portion, OK? Uh, uh, and then. Uh, uh, and in case you pay condominium fee, then portion, OK? Home internet access fee, maintenance and minor repair, OK? And of course, like um, if you're paying rent, that also, but only part like part that has actually used. All right, so this is for uh, salad for commission employees. It also includes home insurance, property tax and uh, leases of cell phone and, um, and other expenses. Right? I don't have to go into the detail. Now. Next is what is T200 form? Let me see if I can show you. I think I should be able to, but. Let me just see. So first this has to be completed by your employer and then you are going to use it for uh, claiming employment expenses. OK. So let me uh, open this. OK, I think I was able to. Let me show. OK, guys, let me show this to you. This is what you see here. This form is available for free. So. Uh, so that you know and the. Uh, this needs to be completed by your employer, OK? And it and then it needs to be handed over to you so that you can deduct. And when you as an employee, when you file your taxes, you don't have to upload this form, OK? But you need to keep it handy in case uh, you are picked up for audit or in case CRA asks you for it, OK? They have given all the guides. So this employee information, condition of employment,
don't worry about all these uh, question answers because this needs to be filled up by your employer and i'm sure your employer must have your details like how much you have worked and how much you have done so it should be good so thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe to the channel let me know what you feel about it thank you